I've got your answers. All right, well, here we go. Um, okay, so today uh, we're gonna wire up a motion detector to the DSC control panel. And uh, this particular motion is uh, basically uh, almost the same one you get in most of the kits. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and wire this up to a DSC control panel. And uh, we'll get this uh, get this together here. So usually what you gotta have is you're gonna have to have four wires uh, to the motion detector, two wires which are gonna carry the power, and two wires are which are gonna accommodate the zone. So uh, what we'll do is usually uh, we have our four conductor, red, black, and a white, and a green. And I like to stay with the red and the black for the power. So we'll take our red and black here, and in the motion, we have a 12 volt in the ground. So I usually use a red wire as positive, so we'll go ahead and wire up our uh, 12 volts positive into the, uh, the 12 volt there. And then I'll use our black wire here for our ground wire. And we're gonna wire that right into the ground. And tighten that down. And then uh, the other two wires here, the white and the green, this is what we're gonna use for the zone. There's no polarity on these two wires, so it doesn't matter which way they go. And on the motion, we'll have an N, C, and a C. Or if it's a different brand in motion, you may have uh, something that might say alarm, or it may say RR, or um, I think that'd be about it, really. But we're gonna wire up our two wires into the N, C, and the C. And then we're going to tighten these down here. Okay, so that'll take care of it for the motion detector. We have our two wires for power and our two wires for zone. And we'll just feed our wire back through this so we can put the cover back on it. Take our cover here and put this back together. And there we go. So that will be that. And then we can go ahead and now, we're going to go ahead and wire this up to our control panel. Uh, what we have here is we need to get our power from the control panel, which is 12 volts DC. So we're going to take our yellow and our, our red and black wire here, and we're actually going to get it off the auxiliary plus and minus circuit. So we'll take our black wire and put that in the auxiliary minus. And then we'll take... Uh, Take our red wire and put that in the auxiliary plus. There we go. All right. So now we need to wire these other two wires here, the white and the green, that we currently hooked up to the normally closed and common in the motion, into a zone on the control panel. So for this example, we're going to go ahead and use uh, zone one in common, and you can see here I have a resistor shorten that zone out so we're going to go ahead and take the resistor out and we're going to go ahead and use this particular resistor we're wiring this up to the control panel so being as that it's a normally closed device our resistor needs to be in line because we need to create an entire loop back to the control panel so from the zone through the motion back into the comp 5.6k resistance um, and one resistor per zone. So in this case what we'll do is we're just going to twist our wire up to the one side of the resistor and then uh, we're going to take the other side of the resistor and put this into the zone one terminal. And then what we'll do is we're going to take our second wire and we're going to put it directly into the comm terminal. Okay, so this right here will give you your, your loop. Now you can cap this in several different ways. Um, you can actually solder this connection here, or we have wire crimps that you can use, uh, put it on and just crimp it down. Um, we also have, uh, or you can get like wire nuts or you know things like that. Anything you can kind of be creative with to make sure that you secure this connection. Um, we're not gonna secure this for Today, so <laughs> so what we need to do is uh, that'll take care of the motion of the control panel, and then uh, pretty much what we do is uh, we would program this zone accordingly. So 
how will we want this particular device to function we're going to go ahead and uh, we would program the panel to either make it be off when you arm it to the home mode or uh, you know give you a delay time or be an instant zone if it's in an area that you're not going to be in uh, while the system is armed and you, you know if you plan on arming this while you're at home this device can be programmed to be activated while you're at home uh, say if you had a basement or a downstairs level that you knew you weren't going to be in and uh, so as far as the motion goes that's going to be about do it for today